In this tutorial, I will make a test on the best video player, which is called System Video Player, and Max Default Player QuickTime Player. I have prepared some video, audio and subtitle files for testing their compatibility. First, let's have a look at System Video Player. Here are video files of different resolutions, respectively are 1080p, 4K, 5K and 8K videos. Just simply drag the video, to the interface of System Video Player. Obviously, System Video Player supports 1080p, 4K, 5K, and 8K videos, but when playing 8K video, there will be a little stuff. Next, let's test different video formats, including MP4, MOV, AVI, WMV and MKV. Both of them are popular. Both of the video formats are supported. Next, let's see the audio formats. They are MP3, WAV and WMA. Well, the audio formats are also supported. Actually, besides the formats I tested, System Video Player is compatible with 100 plus audio and video formats. Now, check the toolbar. You can also open files here or open recent files. The conversion function is not free. To active this feature, you need pay for it. Here are the playback controls. The software allows you to add external subtitles. You will see the subtitle I just imported. And you can adjust your screen for better visual experience. That all for the first software. Next, I will test the built-in video player, QuickTime. Directly open videos with QuickTime Player.
You see, I can't import the 8K video, so QuickTime doesn't support the 8K resolution. Next, let's take a look at video formats. It doesn't allow me to play the AVI, WMV and MKV videos. How about the audio formats? WMA files are not supported. Next, go to check its toolbar. The software supports movie, audio and screen recording. I usually use QuickTime to record screens. And you can export your videos to different resolutions. It's based on the original quality of your videos. You can also export your files to M4A Audio. And here are other playback controls. From my review on System Video Player and QuickTime Player, we can know the former one works smoothly. It supports a wide range of formats and resolutions while QuickTime doesn't. And QuickTime doesn't allow us to add subtitles to the media files.